thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. You will not outwork me. And the whole gig is just a giant hustle. That's all it is. Life is just a hustle. That's all life is. One giant hustle. All right, so here is what we got. We got a ripped fender. Now this is uh, aluminum. This is not steel. Um, so we can't just get in here and grind it, weld it. Uh, if you know how to aluminum weld, then I'm guessing you can, maybe. I don't really know. Um, but I can't because I don't, I don't aluminum weld. So, and I don't really want to deal with welding on this. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use a panel bond technique and repair this um, but first what we need to do is get this cut cleaned up right here so when this ripped it has ripped the metal so it has kind of stretched the metal so as the metal pulls apart right here kind of stretches so it's not going to just necessarily go back together um, we also don't want it to necessarily just go back together perfect so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here kind of like we do a bumper repair and we're going to make a relief cut right through the center so that we can easily bend this back into place. And then we're gonna build us a patch panel on the backside and we're gonna grind the uh, paint off the backside. That's the reason why I have left all of this off to this point and I have not put the headlight in or nothing like that. Made that cut. Let's open it up a little bit more. It's gotta be big enough where we don't want them to touch. Alright, so now we should be able to bend it around, get it where we want it. And our fender is pulled out a little right here. Uh, so the paint on the bolt, you can see how we went over in other videos. So we're going to go ahead and just relax this fender where it can be moved all around. Like that. All right. So we have this bottom side right here back all straightened out so this was folded all in so we bent this back out uh, we took this clip off we hammered all of this back straight so that that is back at a 90 like it's supposed to be okay and then we come across here and you can see now how we've kind of dollied this to where it's kind of the same the same height and we've kind of put that body line bulge back out uh the only reason why we're doing all this is to save so we don't have so much body filler and we're still gonna have body filler in this low right here and obviously this whole area is going to be body filler over top and this will be grinded out some but you just want to get started uh the best as possible this top right here looks like it's pretty equal and all of this doesn't look too bad so we're going to go ahead and mock up our headlight and see if this edge right here is correct this is all we really care about is this edge right here patching this rip and then we'll body work all of this all right aluminum sucks like repairing aluminum sucks so this right here has to clip in okay so that has to go through this bracket and then this has holes that these also go through so it has little guiding pins on this vehicle okay that go right here they go inside these holes and as you can see i can get that bottom one in but then that top one is way out okay so the top of this fender literally has to go way in like this like way in so you can see it has a ton of play in these aluminum fenders now where the bend at is on this is it's actually right here it's where the bend's at this is pretty much what we call like you know blowing out the fenders is when me and eddie are talking at work or we get a car and you know we say that fender's blowed out we'll have to straighten it back out is what it is is the whole fender's pulled out so this is supposed to be standing up more if you could grab this right here and pull this up then it would take that in and it would obviously move this in. Now, when I first started on this a second ago, our paint hole was like this. It was way out here. So I relaxed the bolts so I could pull it in, but it basically drug the fender out. And so the fender has been flattened right here versus this is technically 
like an A-frame, you know, this is supposed to be sticking up, is technically down too low. So what I'm gonna work on real fast now off camera, because this is not necessarily about straightening the fender, but this is part of it probably if you're working on an aluminum panel, is I'm gonna close my hood and I'm gonna get my fender height correct to the edge of the hood, my in and out correct, and I'm gonna get it where my fender bolts into this bracket correct. Every situation will be different, so we're not gonna go over all that. I'm just gonna get that done, and then we will catch back up to actually repairing this uh, rip. All right, now one good thing about aluminum is it has absolutely no strength to it at all. Um, so this bracket, literally, I was able to just push this fender where I needed it, and if I let it go, it would still spring back out, but I was able to push it where I needed it, put the uh, bolts through it right here and right down here, and it's underneath there. And the plastic bracket literally holds the fender into the shape that it needs to be. Um, now, now that we have pushed it like that, it is back touching here. But I'm not sure if this piece actually needs to come up like that. You can see how it opens up when it comes up. So we're not going to make another cut quite yet. We're going to go ahead and sit our headlight in here and find out where this corner needs to be. Because that corner, needs this edge needs to be flush with your headlight, okay? Before we go cut happy and start cutting it more. And then we're also gonna close the hood one more time and check our gap right here to make sure that this thing doesn't need to come up some more. So let's uh, let's do all that and then we will. All right, so the way that this one goes together is extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. Uh, hopefully you have an easier project, but I've got mine fitted up and I can go ahead and tell you that my fender is just all out of whack. Now my gap looks pretty good right here. It looks pretty equal on both sides. Okay, so it kind of matches that side, matches this side. Headlight's not terrible. Uh, you know, there can definitely be some movement in here, but this is blowed out. So this whole fender is literally just blowed out. There's not gonna be a ton I can do. I'm gonna have to bend this in. So this outside needs to be hammered in. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I've got to take all this back apart again every time to do uh, this adjustment. And all of this right here is extremely difficult on this one to get all to go in. Um, stuff's just bent and tore all up. All right, so if you watched the bumper repair videos, you know what tools we're going for. It's these two. Um, now I was able to get my headlight really close and then I just did more dolly and tore my hands all up uh, whenever I took it apart. But now we're gonna come on the back side right here, okay? And we're gonna grind all this. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna grind all of the paint overspray off of this area right here to prep this for uh, panel bonding. And then we will be ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and grind a little bit off on the outside. All right, so we've got our little aluminum patch panel done and I have grinded the face of it with 36. Now you can use other grits. That's just what I use on everything. And I have bent it to the contour that I need. So it's not 100% flat, has a little bit of a bend in it. Just cause this panel has a little bit of a roll in it. We've come on the backside. We have grinded most of all the paint off that I can get to. I don't want to take this fender off the car. And there is our patch panel. Okay, so now we're going to just get the panel bond on this thing and ooze a bunch out the top and over this over the face of it. And then we're going to clamp this. So check out what we're going to use. So the panel bond we're going to use is 08115. So these are good to keep around. So if you watched the plastic repair on this, you notice that we use the same exact gun. This thing is really good tool. Uh, to have around your shop, honestly. 08571 3M gun. Same thing we used in a plastic repair video if you watched it. So on your panel bond, uh, you have 90 minutes worth of work time. Uh, so this stuff is way slower than the plastic repair was like 60 seconds, I believe. You have four hours of clamp time, so it has to be clamped for four hours, and cure time is 24 hours. So it's 6 o'clock Sunday afternoon. This is going to get work, work perfect. I get home at 5.15ish on Monday, so it'll be 24 hours whenever I get home. So as soon as we get done eating tomorrow, we'll be able to come out here and should be able to start assembling this whole entire front end, including the bumper we painted today. Um, so we're going to load this in our gun. Same thing we did on the plastic repair video. You are going to change your tip out. Uh, this tip is trash because everything in it has hardened up. So throw that tip in the trash can. We're going to put another tip on. Same thing. Has a divider that runs, as you can see, like that. So this thing has the zigzag pattern solid that way. It's got a divider right there. So you want the divider uh, equal with that zigzag pattern like that. It ain't gotta be 100% precise. Or to work for me, it don't have to be 100% precise. Screw that on. 
load this in your gun. Make sure you have a big plunger and a little plunger. You have a big tube and a little tube. So make sure they go together right. Take your plunger, load it in. It's got a little groove on the top that it goes into. Doing this one-handed sucks. All right, so it slides into that groove like that. And then take it, load it up, and we're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is put our panel bond on our piece of aluminum patch. And then we're going to put it up there and clamp it. So take your gun, prime it up. And just put, you should be wearing gloves. And I will put, try to put a bunch on mine just because I want it to ooze all out. And I want to make sure it fills every void. All right. I'm going to take it and just in place. Your clamp. There you go. You see how everything oozed out the top. Try not to get my fingers dirty. So we're gonna take some scrap baggy. We're just gonna spill our smear our excess. So that we got something to grind on tomorrow. And that's that. All right, so that's all smeared out. We're gonna let that dry for 24 hours, like the instructions said. You see the back side is patched on there and uh, just waiting now for it to dry. Oh, that thing turned out pretty good. Honestly, it did. There's a couple, let's see here, there's a flaw right there where something was cracked underneath it. So it's either bodywork or our plastic repair. And then I had scratched it during prep. So you can see a scratch right there. But man, dude, that's a rotten. And this area right here, you know, it got funky. You can kind of tell it's a little wavy, but whenever we go to put that uh, all back together, that should snap right in fine. Turned out good. Much better than paying to get a brand new bumper. All right, let's see here. Next night, <laughs> we done glued our clamp to there. Man, dude, that is uh, some strong stuff. You've seen how much that popped, and that's not even on a prepped area. Minute panel bond is some tough stuff. Uh, yeah, so there you go. You can take it. We can see. Man, we wiggled the whole fender. So uh, that's a strong bond. I mean, that thing is uh, solid, man. So this is excellent. If you need to DIY at your house on torn aluminum, um, I'm sure, I know, actually, I know there's a 3M product for um, steel and everything that you can want. You'll just have to get the correct part numbers. You'd have to get on a 3M site or maybe call 3M or your local rep and find out what part numbers is because the part number I showed you is just for uh, exactly you know what we went over it's for use it for aluminum and there's a couple other things you can look that part number up and get what it's for but uh dude being able to pull that thing like that and wiggle the whole thing <laughs> that is just freaking amazing so what we're gonna do now gonna put this headlight in put this bracket in and start assembling the front bumper to this car we got a whole pile of stuff that's got to go on this car all right so we just pulled this thing out the booth where we went ahead and painted a fender and i got a pretty decent uh, decent match honestly in the booth i was seeing issues with it but uh, uh i think it turned out pretty freaking good for pearl pearl is always hard my bumper is a little off from the rest but what i'm talking about is my match in my fender so from here back is uh pretty solid uh painted that piece gotta get that piece installed but this is the front i'm going to show you all the fender since this video is about the fender of how that turned out uh after we did the panel bond repair so you can see all the body lines back in it, everything's in it. And she's been riding this thing for, it's been about two months, I think since, or over a month, month and a half to two months since I actually did the filming on the first part of this video, uh, cause we were just putting it off and this thing has not split, not cracked, not messed up or nothing. So a very solid repair, uh, definitely highly recommended to do it that way if you don't want to weld and you'll get very good results. So hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, if you're interested in this vehicle, we bought it as a total. 
uh, we're gonna be doing a closure video on this vehicle here very soon thanks y'all hit that like button as a small thank you appreciate it